Let's see. I have this Prolux X8 Genuine HEPA bag. Let's see what it weighs empty. All right, I'm going to start out at 40.17 grams. In the forthcoming video, I'm going to use this wonderful Prolux X8 Elite vacuum in a manner that might not be consistent with the way that you actually see other people use backpack vacuums. That's okay because I need to actually, for the point of this video, maintain the integrity of the test environment, meaning I need to duplicate pretty much the same pattern that I have, oh, 30 some odd times prior with different, say, upright vacuums. So this isn't an upright vacuum, and you would use it probably a little differently than what you see here. So please keep that in mind when you comment, and thanks for watching. I have had several people request that I clean the church with a canister. Well, now you get your wish. So this is the new X8 Elite with an EBK 250 power nozzle. Let's see, can I sit down with it? More or less. So I have a 50 foot orange cord here and that is a long enough cord that technically where it's plugged in back there, I can reach everything in the sanctuary without replugging. Now, maybe I'll have to replug if for some reason I get into a bind, but uh, just for recording purposes. But uh, normally if I wasn't recording this 150 foot orange cord, it's inexpensive. This would take care of the entire room, which is over 2000 square feet. So let's go ahead and get started and see how this backpack vacuum works. Yeah, it's a bit too 
too much on full power. So I opened, uh, I opened up the suction relief all the way, and it's, it's reasonable now. Okay, so this is great.
I'm just flying right along here. See if I can sit, bang this thing, all right. So first impressions, two thumbs way up. So I thought that this particular machine would be a real game changer, and it is. So with this particular EBK250, right, it's very lightweight. So the wand and the power nozzle itself, not the hose, is I think around three and a half pounds is what I measured the other day. It's very, very light, even to just, you know, one-handed use. But I did find out that I had to go and open up the suction relief valve because the airflow and suction is, is a bit much. You know, this isn't, a, this isn't a huge head, you know, with a giant opening. So the airflow is very concentrated. So, hey, it's a lot of extra power, right, for when you need it and can use it. Other flooring, maybe you can go and run it at full strength, but this simply means that this machine isn't wimpy. It's more power than you can actually use in this particular environment so far. So this is a, a great match for this type of setup where there's so many intricate, detailed nooks and crannies, intricacies all over the place that you have to try to get into. And a typical, even an upright vacuum, presents somewhat of a challenge. And I don't have any back problems. Uh, and this machine is completely comfortable. And my wrist doesn't hurt, my back doesn't hurt. So this machine is doing an absolutely fabulous job. Okay, so time to change camera angles. Once again, just as a reminder, this tight space right here would probably require uh, vacuuming in a different manner than I'm showing you here, which obviously looks kind of awkward, but I need to follow approximately the same pattern, if at all possible, in order to make the, the pickup results to be roughly equal.
So still really liking it. Two thumbs up. Well, I do two thumbs, but I have to like hold the wand at the moment. So yes, really liking it. Obviously I have to try to figure out how not to, you know, bump the wall quite as much. So I just lean forward a little more than I'm used to, but it's great. My wrist and stuff like that, both of them are fine. My back's fine and I don't really even think I'm sweating. So it's pretty comfortable. All right, let's keep going. So I am still plugged in all the way back there. And I just want to show you that a 50 foot cord will actually clean this whole area all the way up to here. So it makes it as far as I need to go. Away we go.
So specifically, did you notice my uh, my feet action? So I was just kind of using my feet to kind of you know slide the cord around, and uh, it worked out pretty well.
Okay, so I have the suction relief valve wide open, and this is sticking to this mat like glue. I'll do my best to uh, vacuum it, but I'm going to have to play with it a little bit. So it does not like this totally sealed rubber back mat at all. Wow, so yeah, uh, this isn't the type of brush roll that you want to use on this rubber backed entryway mat. It just, it, it, it's not. So it sticks to it um, even with the suction relief valve open. Prolux, this is specifically for you. So do you see what the issue is here? See this power cable? See how tightly it's stretched? So as this tries to move around, there's no slack in it at all. And it's constantly bending this. And at one point in time during the video, the cable actually popped out. Now, I know you can get these cables longer. So I have one of these in white. It's a bit shorter than this, but this isn't long enough and it's going to cause problems with this setup. So I would say this is approximately one foot. So what I would seriously recommend is that you go to at least an 18 inch cable. Some people might want even more than that. But the problem is when you plug this in, there's just simply not enough slack. It's just, it's just not there. So no matter how you do this, even if this tries to swivel a little bit, I mean, it's always stretched. It just, it just will. There's just not enough. I mean, right here, it's okay, but the hose is gonna be either on this side and it's gonna get twisted and stretched, or it's gonna be on this side and it's gonna get, you know, twisted and then stretched, and you literally have no slack. So that is really something I think that needs to be addressed rather quickly, unless you uh, want to deal with customer complaints. So if anybody already has an X8 Elite, these are available on eBay. So you can take a look and you can see how these are made. Yeah, it's just literally like a patch cable or an extension cable. I have one of these I use for another brand of machine I bought a long time ago and it was in white. But that's 
that's something that definitely needs to get addressed pretty quickly. And the moment of truth, how did the X8 Elite with the EBK 250 do? Wow. So a little more than 68 grams. So if we, I'm just doing this in my head, if we subtract the original like 40 point something grams, we're pretty close to 28 grams, which is absolutely top tier performance. Top tier, way up there. Let's take a look at the brush roll. And we do have some hair wrappage. We do have a way to mitigate that. We can pop that little cutting tool out and clean that up. I'm gonna do that before we run it in the fellowship hall, but absolutely top, top tier performance. Way, way up there. And you know, some of the reason it's way up there is because of the flexibility of the system itself. You know, this is a smaller, uh, you know, as in less wide power nozzle. And I'm able to get into nooks and crannies and underneath things more easily than some standard uprights. You know, some, up, some uprights are, are bigger and more bulkier, and it's difficult to get into tight little corners. And this also has the swivel action. So bottom line, very impressed. Um, it has plenty of, of airflow and suction. In fact, it has too much. So please remember that. But I guess as this bag fills up, you know, you might lose a little bit of airflow and suction over time. It, it, it is HEPA. It's not going to lose a ton like, say, paper. And then what you can do is you can close that airflow little suction valve and then regain some additional performance as the bag fills and continue to have top-tier performance. So absolutely fantastic. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video in the series.